changing transportation. We have come a long way since we had only our own feet to transport things from place to place. We figured out that animals could do heavy work for us. We trained horses and other large animals, invented the wheel, and built carriages. To carry things on water, we made rafts, canoes, and then bigger boats. Have you ever wondered how modern cars, planes, spaceships, and ships were invented? Have you ever wondered what the future has in store for us? Science and technology matter. For centuries, the development of transportation was slow. It was based on improving wheeled vehicles drawn by horses and inventing larger sailboats. At the end of the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution changed everything. We learned how to build machines with iron and how to power them with steam. With this new technology, we could move things faster and more easily. Additional vehicles were created and improved by new scientific discoveries. Modern cars, planes, and boats are the result of progress made in science and technology. The history of cars. The first cars were called horseless carriages. They were powered by steam, but they were slow and could not go far. There were also some other ideas, such as electric cars, but they were not successful. By the end of the 19th century, an engine similar to what we use in cars today had been created. The German engineer Karl Benz designed the first practical gasoline powered car. Gasoline powered cars started to gain popularity around the start of the 20th century. However, they were very expensive. An American named Henry Ford wanted to make cars that everyone could buy. He invented a cheap and reliable car that he called the Model T. The cars we drive these days. Whether it is for luxury or safety, car manufacturers all over the world compete in their research to build better cars. Most cars still use the same 100 year old type of engine. But they now have better safety, comfort, and fuel efficiency than the first cars. These days, cars also come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Today, there is roughly one car for every 10 people on the planet. This has raised many environmental concerns. Car pollution causes acid rain, smog, and lung cancer, among other things. Pollution from cars impacts people and the environment. Cars in the future. More and more countries are promoting the use of alternatives to the gasoline powered car. There are many choices, such as electric cars, solar cars, and hybrids. There are even cars that run on water or used cooking oil. Some countries, like Norway, are considering laws that allow only electric cars to be sold in the future. It is also likely that cars in the future will drive themselves. Self driven cars would be able to react faster than people can, and they would not get tired or distracted while driving. Self driven vehicles would be safer. The history of airplanes. Humans have always dreamed of flying like birds. It was only in 1783, when the Montgolfier brothers invented the first hot air balloon, that this dream became a reality. It took a century of further research before the first airplane was flown in 1903, once again by two brothers, the Wright brothers. For a long time, airplanes could not carry more than one or two people or cover long distances. During World War II, the development of airplanes made incredible progress. Bombers and big troop carriers led to the creation of the passenger and cargo planes that now transport people and goods around the world. During the Cold War era, the space race led to new technologies such as the jet engine and lighter materials. Airplanes these days. Air travel is now accessible to most people. People can fly to almost any destination they choose. In the skies above the United States, there are more than 5,000 planes in the air at any time of the day. 
Over 3 billion passengers a year take flights. Some people fly many times within a year. There are almost 700,000 people in the air at any given moment. A large airplane today, the Airbus 380, can carry 853 passengers. Airplanes in the future The airplanes of the future, just like future cars, will probably be self-flown. With technology borrowed from the space industry, planes in the future may also be able to fly outside our atmosphere. They will probably be much faster as well. Scientists, concerned with fuel emissions and economy, will be able to make more environmentally friendly. Once that happens, traditional fuel will be replaced by renewable energy from plants, the sun, or other sources. In addition to traditional planes, pilotless drones could be used in many aspects of life, including police work and farming. And with all of this increased air traffic, we will need skyways, highways for planes. Spacecraft In 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first person in space. Currently, scientists are working on ways to make space travel affordable for tourists. Unmanned spacecraft are currently flying to planets like Jupiter. The Voyager 1 has even gone beyond our solar system. Our future in space is just beginning. There are big things to come. The History of Boats and Ships The Egyptians invented the first large boats to travel easily across oceans and seas. Later, the Greeks and Romans built larger ships. The astrolabe, which used the sun and stars for navigation, was invented by the Greeks, and the compass was invented by the Chinese. Centuries later, the Vikings built a longboat that helped them to reach the Americas. In the 15th and 16th centuries, explorers discovered new places by ship. This enabled European powers such as Spain and Portugal to develop into great maritime powers. Conquest and trade were great for the advancement of technology. In the 19th century and at the beginning of the 20th century, the British Empire started a glorious time in the ship industry. Sailing ships were replaced by steamships. Steamships were later replaced by engine-powered ships. The shipping industry made great progress during the two world wars to better serve military needs. Ships and boats these days. In the 21st century, we have all sorts of ships. Ships for travel and leisure, commercial ships, and military ships. Most of the world's trade relies on large ships packed with containers of all sizes. These days, the shipping industry cares more about volume than speed. In the area of leisure travel, very large passenger ships that carry thousands of passengers at one time are almost like small floating cities. Ships and Boats in the Future While some predict a romantic return to the ecological-friendly sail, we may rather see vessels larger than the current, some of which are already 360 meters long and able to carry almost 5,000 passengers. Due to global warming and rising sea levels, some people have already thought of creating self-powered islands. The vessels of the future might become an alternative to land living, like Noah's Ark, the ultimate place for thousands of people to take refuge from threats on land. As in the past, Military needs will continue to advance technology. There is already a current prototype of a military ship, the Ghost, which can move quickly through rough seas with a steady ride. The Future of Transportation In our fast-changing world, new types of vehicles will be invented, probably by mixing technologies. Flying or floating cars already have been invented, and soon they could finally be available for purchase. Following our great progress in high-speed trains, we will more than likely see the development of the Hyperloop. 
This is a tube within which pods containing passengers and goods will travel in a vacuum. Magnets will move the pods, which will travel almost 1,200 kilometers an hour. The challenge will be to find the best technology for faster and safer transportation with the lowest possible cost to the environment and our pockets. In the future, we may even be able to create some of the technology we see in futuristic movies. One such technology is teleportation. This is the movement of an object by moving its atoms over distances and rebuilding them exactly the same in another place. Scientists say there's no physical law against it, so yes, it should be possible. In the future, transportation as we know it may be a thing of the past. The cars, airplanes, trains, and boats of today might only exist in museums and history books.